How's it going people? Thank you for tuning in and in this episode I'll be installing these 25 watt load equalizers for my 2013 Honda CBR250R. In a previous episode I installed this hot bodies fender eliminator along with these mini lights. These mini lights only have 12 watts of power so as a consequence of that it trips out the bike's burnt out light indicator and the way that it notifies the rider that one of the lights are burnt is that it hyper blinks them. As I'm going to demonstrate right now, as you can see both the front and the rear signals are hyper blinking. So to address the issue, we're going to fool the system to thinking that there is really a light bulb installed. These are 25 watts of load, so that should prevent the system from hyper blinking. So as you can see here, I've already started dismantling my fender eliminator and the light is just hanging off of it right there. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out a mount point for it. Uh, the manual says I should not be placing it beside plastic because it gets really hot and you don't want to melt the plastic. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to hook it up and I will test it to see how hot it really gets. If it doesn't get really hot, that means that these resistors are good quality. Then that means I, I should be able to place them on top of plastic. Like this, this is hard plastic right here. I'm thinking of mounting them right here into that little crevice. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The load resistors that I bought from eBay comes with these clips. That allows me to create the contacts easily. All I have to do is slide this clip into the first wire, then take one of the load equalizers leads and feed it in there. And I should be able to close it. And there we go. So that should cut through both wires creating a short. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Come on, bitch. <clears throat> Piece of shit. <laughs> Turns out that I need a pair of pliers to squeeze the metal contact in the middle. So let me try that again with the, the remaining wires. Okay, so I've got that in there. And then with a pair of pliers, there you go, close it, nice and easy. And the last one. Done. We are ready to test. So I'm just going to set it to the on position. Looking good. Oh yeah. It's fixed. Let me try the left turn signal. Yeah. That is more like it. Uh oh. That one's not even coming on at all. Let me fix that. So here's why the left turn signal isn't even coming on. The ground wire actually broke off. So you guys have to be careful when you push that contactor in. Don't push it too much or you're going to end up with this. So I'm going to have to splice that back in and retape it and we should be good to go after that. Okay folks, so there seems to be a problem. I tested the resistors and they got really, really hot and I'm afraid that it could melt the plastic. I'm going to have to find another location for it. I'm thinking of putting them up here, like right here. I can glue it on there. When I put the seat on it, I could see that it doesn't really hit it. So there's still enough space on top. So I'm going to do a test fit. I'm going to put the back seat. And as you can see, well, it's hard to see, but it doesn't really touch the resistor. There's still about an inch of space above it. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that on there when I'm done. But first, I have to reattach the wires. I've gone ahead and removed three of them. I just took the pliers and pulled the contact out. So let me do the rest. Okay, so because I've already used the clips, I want to make sure that the contact is still good. So I've gone ahead and used my wire stripper to strip them. And I'm just going to reconnect them and tape them with electrical tape. Okay, so I've got a pair of them in there already. Very tight, but I've got two clips in there. Here's the equalizer. And I'm testing it right now and it seems to be working. 
time to do the second one. Okay, so it looks like I got them all and I also realized that this part here is all metal except for the bottom part. So I just stuffed both resistors in there and they're not touching anything because the bottom part has a wire so it's lifted off the ground. This might be good enough for now until I find a better solution on where I should be putting these resistors. Anyway, I'm gonna test them out now. Right turn signal. I think we're set so I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back together and that would be it for this episode thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see my future videos